Do you ever wonder how Matt Pat makes himself dart in and out of the screen, sometimes even with googly eyes, while he's giving us theories about the latest and greatest movies? It's actually easier than I thought using CapCut. First, we need to make all the variations of Matt Pat or me or you that you might want to use in your video. I've done that for you. I don't have a picture of you, so I used I used me. So here's me just smirking. I took that one photograph and then I tweaked it a little Photoshop to give me a little bit of a smirk and a little bit of a frown. And then I added some eyes like that, even big googly eyes. And then I've also given you just the eyes if you want to add these eyeballs to yourself. If you want to do something like this with a photograph of yourself, you can cut yourself out with CapCut. You know how to do that, right? It's in like 100 of my other videos. And then just add my googly eyes on there and make a compound clip out of it and, and you'll be golden. Right now, you should download all of the elements I use in this video so you can mess with them. And yes, you're free to use them anywhere you want. You can even use my image on your videos. We're going to be swapping variations of the same image during this. So for this to work, all of the images have to be in exactly the same place before you start, then it's just going to be stupid easy. Next, we need a movie to make a theory about. How about what is destined to be the greatest movie of our time, Deadpool and Wolverine? My theory about Deadpool and Wolverine is not the last five seconds of this video. If you want to use something from the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, figure out yourselves. I just got in trouble for showing you how to do that in a video and the video got taken down, so... You can use any video for the background for what we're about to do, but it should obviously be something that you are talking about in the video. Oh, and I made this easy for you too. I made, I made a script for you. It's right here in your downloads. And I've got this Matt Pat sample, and this could be my greatest creation ever. This is an exact replica of what Matt Pat would sound like if he were making this very video. Ready? Okay, I have a theory that perfectly explains Deadpool and Wolverine. Right? Dead Ringer. In exchange for this professional voiceover that sounds exactly like Matt Pat, all I request is that you subscribe to my channel. Oh, and if you're rich, you want me to keep making this content, you can jump down to any of my videos and hit this little thanks button right here. And you know, send a couple bucks so I can buy an energy drink, because I always stay up way too late doing these things. Listen, listen to my voice. And if you slide it, you know, that's kind of cool. It's even better, but you know, every penny I'm, I'm, Super grateful for. Thank you. To animate in the style of Mad Pat, we drag one of these images of me or you or whoever onto the timeline. And we make it last the duration of our section where we're going to be doing this little animate thing. The key is to animate the entire thing before we start thinking about using the other characters that we've created. So let's first put him where we want him to land when we start. How about over here? And you know, Matt Pat has him fly in and we could do this with keyframes and we are gonna be doing some keyframing, but we might as well use the easy tools that CapCut has built in to make this start. So to have me come in, we're just going to make sure that I am highlighted and I'm going to click on animation Gonna make sure that in is selected. This is a way to bring an image into the screen. Let's try something like, I don't know, shake three. Let's play it. Okay, I have a Yeah, that looks that looks great with one click instead of that would have taken like a bunch of keyframing and you know five minutes to do, but with one click, we got us coming in just like Matt Pat. Next, we are gonna use keyframes to animate him a little more in the style of Matt Pat. So we're just going to position the plate where we want the motion to start. Say right here, make sure the clip is highlighted, click on video basic, select this keyframe here so it highlights the keyframes for scale, position, and rotate. And we're gonna say move forward maybe three or four frames, scale him down a little bit, rotate him a little bit, drop him down here. And that little motion looks like this. Theory that perfectly. So here I say explains here, so maybe I can have him pop up. And we're kind of thinking in advance that maybe it's gonna be the side-eyed guy here. So then we just set another keyframe right here where I want this next animation to start. So I'll click on this same keyframe button here, move forward another three frames and then we'll position him where we want him to go. Now, the reason I have a keyframe right here is so that nothing happens. So he just sits there for a moment right there. And then three frames later, the next animation will happen. And maybe we have him go to the other side of the screen. So I'll just have him like zip over to here and rotate the other direction and get bigger again. And, you know, thinking in advance, maybe the side eye is gonna, gonna look, look that direction, maybe a little bigger. There are no rules. The goal is to be inspired by what Matt Pat does and make your own version of it. And this looks like this. Perfectly explained. Deadpool and Wolverine. And when I say perfectly explains, maybe we're thinking that's gonna be where I pop on with the big eyes. So the face gets bigger like Matt Pat does. If you're serious about YouTube, there's really only one way to get 
rich and famous with YouTube. And that's Take My Course, Edit with Trev and Master CapCut. If you take that course, you will learn how to edit in like 5.3 seconds. Plus, I'll teach you the 10 steps you need to take with every video that I guarantee, promise 100%. If you do these, you will get more views and more subscribers. Right when I start to say Deadpool right there, I'm gonna make sure I'm highlighted, set another keyframe, move forward three frames. And I'm going to get much bigger and I'm going to rotate back this way. Bam, something like that. Deadpool and Wolverine. Let's watch these first few seconds. Then I'm going to show you how to swap out the different googly eyes and facial expressions. Okay, I have a theory that perfectly explains Deadpool and Wolverine. So that looks pretty great. One thing that we could do that it's not exactly what Matt Pat does, but it gives a little more interest is add a little motion to him as he's sitting there in places. So one of my favorite effects in CapCut is rebound swing. I'm going to type rebound, rebound swing shows up. He's going to click and drag it to this whole thing before I chop any of it up. So now it looks like this, so it should look a little better, a little more motion. Okay, I have a theory that perfectly explains Deadpool and Wolverine. And he's bouncing around quite a bit. I don't want to bounce around quite that much. I'm just going to turn the size and the speed down. So now throughout this whole thing, he'll be moving around a little bit, so there's a little bit of motion to catch your attention. Next thing we want to do is add those different variations of me every time I move. To do that, I'm going to go to the second keyframe. This is the place where I want my face to change, where he lands. So I went from up here, and when I land down here, I want to have a different face. How about that fake smiley face? So I'm going to go over to my media and click on my smile face, and there's my little smirk. Now, that's a fake smirk that I made in Photoshop using the Liquify filter. If you don't have Photoshop, you can just take multiple pictures of you with different faces, you know, like sad face, medium face, happy face, crazy face. Just do that, but just, just don't move. You want to be in the exact same position for every face. It'll make life much easier. So with my playhead positioned on that second keyframe, I'm going to hit Command B on a Mac, Control B on a PC to cut it, and then I'm going to take that smiley face of Trevor and drag it onto this clip until it highlights or it, you know, kind of darkens like that. And you see this little icon. I'm going to let go and I get this replace box here. And I want to make sure that use the original video effect is selected so that rebound swing and all the keyframes and everything stay. And I hit replace clip. So now it's going to be subtle. But when I land there, I'm just going to turn the audio off here so you can just watch. When I land here, you're going to see that my face changes. So it's a little bit of a smirk, and then I got that same smirk over there. So we want it to be a little more drastic for the next one, but you just do the same thing for everyone. Right here on this last keyframe, that's where you're gonna make the cut, the same way, cut right there. And let's see what I'm saying so I can get the right thing here. Perfectly explained. Perfectly explained, so maybe that's the side eye right there. So I'm going to take the side eye Trev right here, which is this guy, and drop it on. Same exact thing, make sure that's selected, hit replace clip. And now, this is super easy. It's probably easier than what you'd do in After Effects. You would probably pre-compose or nest a bunch of these variations and then just choose the one you wanted to use every time. But this is, this is actually easier. So let's just do this one more time. They want the big googly eyes here. So I'm going to add a cut right here. And I'm going to take the big round eyes for Trevor and do the same thing at Replace Clip. And now we have this. Okay, I have a theory that perfectly explains Deadpool and Wolverine. And then you just do exactly the same thing for the rest of the section. And if you get to a point where you're like, you know what, I want to get off the screen, you figure like, okay, we're going to get rid of me doing the thing and just show the movie for a second. You know, so maybe you're like right here when the scene changes, maybe I want to get off the screen. So just go to that frame right there, add a cut right here, and then just slide me out of the way so we can kind of play that scene out. But instead of just having me disappear from the screen. Let's go ahead and not keyframe it, but let's use an animation out. So I'll click this guy, make sure it's highlighted, go to animation, select out, choose a fun out. You can use any out, do your own thing. You don't have to just rip off Matt Pat. In fact, I'd rather you did your own thing, just be inspired by what he does. So let's do something that's a little different than Matt's just so you can see how cool it can look. So let's try, I don't know, how about Kira Magic? Okay, that's cool and different. It's just too long, so to make it shorter, we just drag the slider down to like, I don't know, half a second or something. And let's see what it looks like. It doesn't make much sense until you try. I think that looks pretty great. I've animated myself for the rest of the video and you can use it for your inspiration. And now for the final masterpiece. And after that, I'll share with you my theory about Deadpool and Wolverine. Okay, I have a theory that perfectly explains Deadpool and Wolverine. Look lady, I'm not interested. Bear with me here. It doesn't make much sense until you try to walk in Matt Pat's ginormous shoes and write a clever script right here and suddenly come to the realization that your brain is a potato. My theory, Deadpool is Wolverine.